Hi, I'm Cassidy and this is Let's Talk Baby Wearing. Today I'm going to be going over some of the similarities and differences between the Lilla Baby Complete and the Tula Explorer. So here I've got a Lilla Baby Complete and it is in narrow seat, so you can see here. And then I've also got it in wide seat. Now this is an airflow, the other is in all seasons, so there are a little bit of differences between those as well. But the same basic structure for both carriers. And then this is a Tula Explore in the widest setting and a Tula Explore in the narrowest setting. Okay, so this is what they look like. You'll notice both have what you could use as a headrest or something as your child gets bigger. Lilla Baby has this more designed as a headrest or head support where Tula has this more as a way to lengthen the panel as your child gets older. You could use it as a headrest, but I will say one thing that is a little, little less easy is it has this little hidden panel where you access the snaps for your little additional panel here. So once you have it into position, it's great. But getting it into position if you're already wearing your child is a little bit more work. This headrest is significantly taller and it just clips into place. The complete versions are adjustable on the headrest so if you had a newborn, like a sleeping newborn, who is legs in and up, sitting up higher in the panel, you could have this scrunched in to really help support your baby. Some potential concerns are, depending on how you use the headrest on the Lilla baby, your baby's head might be completely covered and their face covered, which could potentially, you know, less airflow and less eyes on baby. So it could potentially add risk there depending on how you're using it. So that is user though and not necessarily the carrier in and of itself. So they do both have hoods. The Tula is gonna snap in right here and the Lilla Baby connects on these here. The Lilla Baby is a bit more work. You do have to undo the webbing to get on and off, but if you just leave it on or off, it's fine. The All Seasons has the zip down panel with a tiny pocket up here. That is its only pocket, which is one reason I really don't love this carrier. Um, but it does zip down for a little more airflow and you would just fold this up, snap it in, and then you have, you know, a breathable mesh. Or you could stuff your um, hood in here and just zip it up over the hood and then it's concealed unless you want it. So Lilla Baby Complete only has two settings, narrow, wide. So the Tula on the other hand has three and it is just easy little snaps on the inside. I much prefer the seating positions on the Tula Explore because you have that option of three different seating positions versus the two that the Complete has. Chest clips are very similar. They're both on a sliding rail. If you can see that, both about the same. The buckle's about the same. One says Tula and one says Lola Baby, but they're about the same. The Tula has a one-way adjusting strap where the Lola Baby has two-way tightening. This can be good and it can be bad depending on how you tighten and loosen your carrier. The, let's see the shoulder straps. So both of these have a shoulder strap that tightens down almost exactly the same. They tighten almost exactly the same on the shoulder strap. And then the amount of webbing is similar. You have the two way on the complete. So it is a little bit different on where you'll see that length. This is the Tula and it's still, it's longer, but it's also still rolled up, but again, Two sides on the Lilla Baby, one side on the Tula. That does make it less bulky and honestly I have found because Tula has it fixed to the shoulder strap instead of the panel where it adjusts, it's easier to use for most people. Not everyone, but most people. Tula Explorers all have a pocket here 
which is fairly large. However, because of the shape and how it needs to Velcro on, you're not going to be able to store a ton of stuff in here, but you can store some things, which I like. They have a bunch of different fabrics. They even have beautiful woven wraps that they have converted, like woven fabrics that they've converted into carriers. And I have one of those, but it's not up here right now, so I can't compare that. Um, the Tula Coast is their breathable version. I don't have a breathable Tula Explore, but... I do have the Tula Free to Grow, and it's going to be the same idea. So it is a very breathable mesh. Their mesh and little babies is a bit different. I don't know if you can see. That is a very breathable, like large hole mesh. You can see right through it. Little uh, Tula, you can't quite see through as well. Let's see if I can. You can see some through, but not as well. Um, it's a finer mesh, but it's very lightweight. When you're holding these bowls, woo! Thank you. It's upside down. But this just feels a little bit bulkier because of the headrest and the lumbar support. Lumbar support is on the completes only. I actually really do find this helps. Um, if you're wearing properly, you shouldn't need it. However, most people aren't necessarily wearing properly, but also postpartum, your pelvic floor and your core is going to be weakened and that's gonna cause some back issues. So having that um, lumbar support can really help and make wearers more comfortable, but it just depends on your body and what you're looking for. You can also whoop, just buy one of these separate and put it on any carrier technically. So that's also an option. And then if you can see the waistband, so if I line these up, little baby comes out a little bit further. It's got a little bit longer of a waistband and it's more curved here, straight across here, curved here, whereas the Tula is much less. It's more straight across the whole way and then at the end tapers. It does fit differently. The Tula is going to work better on, in general, on front. It just has, you know, that shorter panel that's straight across. So it doesn't feel like it's dipping down on your pelvic floor in the same way. Um, but that is very supportive. So it's kind of personal preference. I like both. Both have their pros and cons. But I will say the Lola Baby Serenity works far better for me compared to this Complete. Complete line isn't my personal favorite, but there are people who absolutely love it. And there's pros and cons both ways. There are more fabric options with Tula. They are slightly more lightweight. And then one of the biggest differences is that... I'm going to go get my demo doll. But to front forward face, you would... So, any carrier, put on... I'm going to... So I'm going to go grab my demo doll. So to front forward face with your Tula, it's going to be a quick and easy adjustment. And all you do is unbutton and rebutton to that innermost here. And this can be done pretty quickly on the go. So that's that's all you do. Then you take your little one, get this tightened, and you're going to put them into the panel, and then raise this up into position. Of course, do your um, buckle in the back. So, if you can see that, I might have to go down a little bit. There's my baby. Okay. So, as you can see, they have a nice place to sit. It creates an actual seat for them. And then when you're front forward facing, things that you do want to keep in mind are that baby's chin, this baby is a little small. It's supposed to be about a three to, you know, three to four month size. And you're going to want to wait until at least baby has really good head control, but, you know, 
there are recommendations all over the place. Um, if baby is beginning to tripod sit, doing this for short periods of time is probably fine. If they have really good head and core strength, it's probably good for a short amount of time, but the lowest recommendation that I've seen across the board is four months with good neck and head control. The problem is, is with front facing, their chin can easily tuck and you won't notice, and it puts them at a risk of positional asphyxiation. So, weeding is a great idea. So, that's the two looks for a nice, wide M shape, which is the best position for their hip development and it's going to be better on your back when you're front facing and it's going to be better on their body so just something to keep in mind this carrier is definitely a better option for front facing and you can definitely do it with a little baby if you happen to be in wide seat you're going to have to switch it to narrow which is honestly a little bit of a chore you have to take off the lumbar then you have to re-thread or, and then you have to unthread these from the waistband and then put them together in here. So it's going to take a little more time. But once you have it in narrow seat, or if you already had it in narrow seat, you would just place it on. I like to place it a little bit higher. I'll bring it back down. So I like to put it up a little bit higher. The little baby panel tends to be a bit higher than other carriers and definitely compared to the Explorer. So I'm going to do that. Now when I'm putting a baby into a complete front facing, I'm going to lift their legs, called a taco fold, I'm going to bring that panel up so that they stay in that seated position. You're going to want to make sure that your head rest is down. I'm going to put those shoulder straps on. So as you can see, there is not as much down here supporting the baby's leg. You can still get that legs out wide position. It's just not going to be as easy and they will tend after a while to start to droop down and start hanging there, whereas they won't with the Explore. So that's something to consider if you want to front face. Do that taco fold, get them more comfortable, and then you have that. And again, just remember, same things that you want baby. Hmm, little baby says six months and up. Depends on the brand, but always no younger than four months. Um, and with really good neck and core strength. And if they start falling asleep, always face them in. If they're overstimulated, face them in. A whole lot of reasons to face them in, but yes. And then another difference is that because this has clips here, um, you can cross them in the back with the Explore. You cannot. Its shoulder straps are fixed, so you cannot cross them. Little Baby Complete, you can cross the straps. And you can also hip carry with the Little Baby Complete. You're going to want to wait until your child is in wide seat for hip carry. So don't do it like this. <laughs> but you would have it in wide seat, and then you would cross these on your body and I can I have other videos on how to do that but that is an option with this whereas inward facing front and back and then outward facing on the front for the complete sorry for the explore so those are some of the key differences but let me know if you have any other questions and I'll try to answer them in the comments if you want to see this kind of content, if you have questions about different carriers, want to know how to use them, want a different review, just ask me and I will try to get to it as quick as I can. And subscribe if you want to see more and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!